Hello, how's it going, people? So, I just saw this uh, thing. It happened a few days ago, and I didn't know how real it was. It's about a college football player who apparently was paralyzed after a pretty hard hit. It was a Rutgers in an Army game, and I wasn't watching the game or anything, but I saw highlights of it, and I saw it posted all over the internet. And I didn't jump to any conclusions and make a video right away because I didn't know if he was actually going to be, like, legitly paralyzed or not. Now, when you sustain a hit like that and it goes down and it affects your uh, spinal cord and everything in your vertebrae, right away, immediately, there's probably going to be some sort of damage. I mean, you got so many nerves and everything running through there. So, yeah, you're going to, there's going to be some problems if you get hit and something's affected in there. So, just first off, I guess he was partially paralyzed. I guess in his legs and his arms, he couldn't, he couldn't move. He had no movement and no feeling. Now, What's going on is he's going to surgery, so now whether he's actually going to stay paralyzed, I hope not. So I'm kind of here to tell you like the better side of the story is that he's going through surgery and they're kind of hoping for a really, really good recovery and just hoping for the best that he will not be paralyzed. Because anytime you see something like this in football, I mean, it just sucks, you know, it just brings you to reality of how serious the sport really is. But, uh, yeah, what's his name? Uh, Eric, Le Eric Legrand. Anyways, I hope he makes the recovery. I hope he gets better. Will he ever be able to play football again? In my opinion, I doubt it. But if he could ever walk again and just be functional, that would be, that would be amazing in itself right there. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and post a link down below to the video in the description. If you want to see it, watch it. If not... I don't blame you. I mean, the hit doesn't look terrible, but it, it's a hard hit. And he just lays there, just motionless. I mean, his head moves a little bit, but you can tell right away after he gets hit that there's something wrong. So it's kind of hard to watch. It's not for the uh, easily squeam squeamish people to watch, excuse me. But uh, I'll go ahead and post it, check it out, and my prayers are with him. Let me know what you guys think of the situation. Hopefully he recovers well. Uh, anyways, that's all I got to say about that. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.